Hey guys, Bowser Karaga here. Now as you probably know, Pokemon X and Y are right around the corner. And with that, there's a few new things I want to see put in the games, and a few mechanics I want to see change. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Number 5. More post-game content. If you've played through a Pokemon game before, you'll know that once you beat the main story, there simply isn't much to do afterwards in most cases. You're usually stuck with the Battle Frontier Tower, and the last two generations, Wi-Fi battling and trading. These are great of course, but there could be more. What about multiple mini stories, each with interesting plots like, I don't know, following a suspicious trainer, or Pokemon on a remote island, or set of islands detached from the main game's region. Just something that's generally interesting, and gives you incentive to keep playing after being the league and becoming champion. Black and White 2 definitely stepped it up a bit with the World Tournament, and the medal system, among other things, but I like to see Game Freak take it a step further. Number 4. A longer main game and less linearity. With number 5, I touched on post game content, but I want to see improvements to the main game too. Pokemon is an RPG, and one of the staples of an RPG is its story, but up until the fifth generation, I think we can all agree that the stories in Pokemon, while not necessarily bad, aren't anything special. Get your starter, collect 8 badges while occasionally dealing with Evil Syndicate, stomp Evil Syndicate, stomp the Pokemon League, roll credits. I'd like to see some more room for freedom, like maybe collecting a few badges in whatever order you want, and to compensate the game scales the levels of the area you save for last so you don't get too over leveled. Maybe even do away with the 8 badge formula itself, and have us explore for the sake of exploring and discover an original plot. But I realize some would actually be outraged if the games changed too much. But a guy can hope. Number 3. Revamped EVs and IVs. A big problem myself and many others have with the Pokemon games is the system for EVs and IVs. Mainly IVs. Now if you don't know, in a nutshell, IVs are predetermined stats that every Pokemon has the moment they're born or caught. They're the reason that no two Pokemon are the same. I will go into more detail, but this video will be twice as long. IVs can be that complicated. EVs are just points you can accumulate through specific training to give your Pokemon boosts and stats. Now the problem with these is the fact that they divide the fan base in two. People who EV train and IV train, and people who don't or simply don't know they exist. You see that's another thing, unless you look on the internet or have a friend tell you, you would not know these mechanics even exist. The games give you a vague hint, but they don't straight up tell you. Now the problem with this division of the fan base is that people that take the long hours to get perfect EVs and IVs have a significant advantage in battling over those who don't. And tedious EV and IV training is the main reason hacking runs rapid in Pokemon. I think Game Freak should do away with IVs altogether, and possibly EVs, or at least make them more accessible and less tedious to use. Number 2. A Wi-Fi mode where legendaries that are usually banned are usable. Do you like legendaries? I do. Most of them look cool, and they're often pretty good. But we all know that for most of them, they just collect dust in the PC after we catch them. We go through all this trouble and time to catch them, and Game Freak doesn't allow them to be used online or in the battle frontiers. And of course this is mainly because some of them have high stats, but others make no sense. Take Fionn for example. Crap. Cute. But crap. And it's still banned. I want a random Wi-Fi mode where any Pokemon can be used, or maybe just legendaries. Either way, I like to use my beloved Darkrai and Palkia sometimes. Number 1. New Types Change is something a lot of hardcore Pokemon fans are reluctant on. Me, I'm all for it. New Types was something I've always wanted, well, since they stopped introducing them in Generation 3. They shake the game up, and gave way to interesting new designs. And it can even make you interested in no Pokemon you didn't care about before. Now I know all the recent news is pointing to at least one new type being introduced, and I'm pumped for that. While we're probably getting a light or fairy type, I'm still betting money on a sound type as well. Your Vettel just screams it. No pun intended. You know, since it's a wyvern. Your Vettel's a sound type, I'm calling it, you can quote me on that. So that's my top 5 list. Do you have a list of things you want to see put in the games? If so, leave it in the comments or maybe make a video response. And if you like this video, well, like it. 
And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Real Bowser Carriga. And as always, thank you for watching.